what's up? Amelia here and you're watching Newsbreak. It's been one year since the Taliban took control of Afghanistan and life has changed a lot for many people there. The UN says millions of people have fled their homes and some have even found a new life right here in Australia. Here's Michelle. These girls are pretty excited about going to school here in Australia. I love kangaroos and uh, uh, it's most good when I study here. But that's something that wouldn't have been possible in their home country of Afghanistan. After the Taliban, an extremist religious group, took over last year, they banned girls from going to school. Man, 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 woman, This is 16-year-old Karishma, and she lives in the country's capital, Kabul. I want to become a successful journalist in the future. I would love to serve my country, and education is my basic human right. We have many hopes. God willing, our schools will reopen again. But if not, we have no other choice but to leave the country and go abroad for education. Many Afghan people made the decision to flee their country, like the Sharani family. But while they've been allowed to stay, they're still waiting for a visa for their adopted son. We are waiting for him here, and he is waiting for us there. 200,000 people from Afghanistan have applied to live in Australia, and the government says it's struggling to process them all. But while the family waits, the girls have already made some big career plans for the future. Doctor. Yeah. Scientist. I don't know. Barbara and singer. Intense fires are burning across the east of Spain. More than 2,500 people have been evacuated, 12,000 hectares have been burnt across the Valencia and Zaragoza regions in the past 24 hours, and firefighters have struggled to contain them. They're dealing with strong winds and extreme temperatures, and the country's military has been called in to help. It's every zookeeper's worst nightmare, an animal escape. And at Adelaide Zoo on the weekend, that nightmare became a reality when one of their red pandas went missing. Here's Nat. Location, Adelaide Zoo red panda enclosure. The perimeter, fully fenced. Security cameras providing 24-7 surveillance. But hang on, there's only one red panda. There's supposed to be two. Anyone? Across the road, outside zoo grounds, there's our fugitive. Can you see him? Ravi, the red panda, on the run. But he's not moving very fast. He had actually bunkered down in the fig tree for today. It was pretty inactive. And that's in part that red pandas spend a good portion of the daytime resting. Uh, coming into later afternoon and early evening, that's when we expect him to get active. All that downtime has given zookeepers a good window to send a rescue team and bring in the big guns. Literally. Using a special tranquilizer dart, they can make sure Ravi stays nice and sleepy for the rescue. And with the catch blanket ready and waiting, it's just a matter of time before he drops. Three, two, whoa, hang on, hang on, wait, I missed that. Can we get an angle, please, without that pesky car in the way? Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh, that's better. Yeah, a little bit of excitement for the end of the day. I was happy that the red panda was down and he was safe. I wanted to keep it too, as a pet. As a pet? After two whole days away, Ravi is back at the zoo and an investigation is underway to find out how he escaped. He'll also spend some time in the Animal Health Centre to make sure he's A-OK -okay to return to normal life. Now let's dive into these next stories because they're really making a splash. Whee! Oh, it's quite shallow, really. These daredevils in Bosnia are definitely making a splash at this annual waterfall diving contest. People came from surrounding countries to take this 20-metre plunge. Yeah, that's not for me. This artist is making quite the splash with his ambitious clay sculpture on the banks of this Swiss river. That said, he's hoping these intricate castles don't get splashed or that would ruin everything. The heat wave in Europe has helped his creation stay standing so far, but visitors had better get in quick. And these doggies in Bolivia are being splashed with holy water. It's St. Roch Day, which celebrates the patron saint of dogs. Yes, dogs. And for such a special occasion, you need to dress your Sunday best, right? <laughs> I think that was a yes. Uh, see you later. Mm, Starfish.